Well, hi, Rochelle. How are you today? Yeah, really good. Thank you. How are you? Brilliant, thanks. How have you found this week? I am so surprised at how I've been up, um, walking around, been shopping. I genuinely thought I was going to be sat down in a bed the entire time. Day one, I can't lie, was pretty rough. But I think that's just coming around from the anaesthetic. It always makes you feel a little bit groggy. After that, walking around shopping. I'm so shocked. I know. I <laughs> it's, know it's crazy. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. So uh, directly after surgery, did you have pain? Did you have discomfort? How did you feel? Honestly, I just feel like everyone here at Ecole just constantly makes sure that you have all the painkillers you need, you have all of the hydration you need, I didn't actually get to a point where I was feeling pain. It was very minor and it was like gas pain, which I was, you know, expectant of. And what's great is that I'm able to get up and about because that's something I was really nervous about, being a parent. I was like, I'm going to get back to the UK. How am I even going to get back on that flight? But I'm just so surprised at how easy it's been. Looking at you now, you wouldn't think you'd had surgery. You look fabulous. You're yeah. Abs- and it's been a pleasure to work with you all week. It really has. I've Thank loved you. every minute of it. <laughs> so, day two of your surgery, you was up and about, you was going shopping. Yeah. Uh, pain on day two, how was that? The pain, again, like obviously every day got better and better. Um, I I did get a little bit tearful but that's just because I'm missing my kids but other than that it's just the weirdest thing I thought I'd be tired I thought I would be really struggling with just not eating food my dad sat there and ate his lunch in front of me and I wasn't bothered I didn't want anything I was happy with sipping on my apple juice and my pineapple juice so and are you feeling any hunger now I'm not I feel thirsty and I'm sipping um, and I'm listening to my body and I think it's just going to be a really nice healthy journey from now on good good and I also think because you've got your weight from when you started the journey haven't you yes and you are going to be so surprised because we need to get your weight before you go home oh, you yeah. are going to be so you will have lost something you yeah. will, in that short space of time you definitely will have lost yeah. something so your daily routine is all, all I can say is that Dr Kavak has given you 60% of a tool Yes. So the other 40% is for you to work alongside the diet and follow the programme. Yeah. So the only recommendations we can give you is to follow that programme as closely as you can. Don't listen too much to other people outside. Yeah. If you're worried or concerned about anything, or you've even got a question about the dietary plan, contact us at Aftercare and we'll help you as best we can. Yeah. Is that all right? Amazing. That's one thing I cannot fault Echo with. The, the Aftercare has been incredible good thank you now my next question is are you now in a position where you can say yes I'm happy I've had it done Uh, do you know what yes (laughs) I definitely had some second thoughts at the beginning you know when I was going in for my endoscopy I started to think is this the right choice am I sure I'm making the right decision and I think it's a normal process you know emotionally you're saying goodbye to a lot an old lifestyle very unhealthy lifestyle so it's nice to be able to you know have all of those gallstones removed uh, how many was pain. there? I think there was 18 or 19. 18. Yeah, it was so, a lot. So let's go through. You had your gallbladder removed with all those stones. Yeah. And then you had your hiatus hernia fixed. Yeah. And the sleeve. Yeah. And your shopping. Yeah. And you look fab. What's that all about? <laughs> I honestly, honestly uh, I think Dr. Kavak is a magician. He is. Magic hands. Magic, magic hands. hands. And I think now you've said goodbye to that awful old life, you're going to start welcoming a new Rochelle, a new healthier Rochelle. Shell and especially for your family and your children exactly so I would just want to wish you all the best for the future but know that we are with you every step of the way thank you so all much all right Carol. it's been a pleasure <laughs> an absolute pleasure thank, thank you, you.